Welcome back to Ta-da! 3D Printing. I had a request from Jacob Levi for an Eiffel Tower. I liked this version that I found on printables by Yell because it would not require any supports. After downloading, I pulled it into Prusa Slicer and I wanted to compare the print times between the MK3 and the XL. In order to get it to print on the MK3, I did have to scale it down just a little bit, just under 95% because it was too tall. With the 0.2 detail default setting, it would take 8 hours and 43 minutes. And these are the default speeds for that profile. And I am comparing the same 0.6 nozzle for both machines. And then on the Prusa XL, the same size that is about 8.2 inches or about 20 centimeters tall with the same 0.2 detail profile will take 6 hours and 38 minutes. That's a savings in time of about 25%. And these are the default speeds for that profile. But of course, I don't want to print a small Eiffel Tower. I want to max it out. So on the XL, I take it to 14 inches tall or about 35 centimeters tall, and that ends up being about 160% of the original print size. I keep the same profile settings, and it's gonna take 22 hours and 50 minutes. So just a little bit under a full day to print this. So let's get it started. It starts off good, and I leave the room, and think everything will be fine. This is a really long print, and I haven't had any issues, so I just, don't think to even come back and check on this print. Clearly this print is not going to work out, but I still haven't seen it. Mm -hmm. The front two feet are printing surprisingly well. I I'm really surprised that with all that spaghetti mm -hmm. in the back that it's still printing pretty good on the front. Finally that leg gives way, but it still really continues to print. I'm surprised there's no crash detection. It just keeps going until I finally do check on it. I really was expecting this print to be doing good, so I think it takes a little bit for me to get over the shock of seeing this mess that I came into. This is well into the print. But there's no way to save it, so I just need to stop it. The right leg is still secure, but that's it. That's a pretty good mess. So after I clean up this mess, I look again at the file and it does say that if you have any warping issues that you should use a brim. The print in the picture shows that it had a brim, even though it was printed on a different printer. So I decide, okay, I'm gonna, I really want to see if this is still gonna work. So I just re-slice it again with a brim and I'm gonna try this long print again. Okay, here is round two. I print it in the center again. At this point, I'm kind of liking the way it looks if it's printed in the center, even though it's not officially correct, I guess, but I, I really like the symmetry of it. Okay, we're already past the part where it messed up on the last print, so it's doing a lot better. You can see the bridging on the legs start to come together. It's looking really good. Let's speed this up a little bit. Imagine if it printed this quick. Let's see how it turned out. I used to love popping prints off of the bed before, but man, this XL is tricky. But I do really like how this turned out. I'm surprised on the top, the very peak of the Eiffel Tower printed really good. The upper sections printed pretty good. The bridging underneath, I almost wish that maybe I had changed my retraction settings a little bit, maybe changed the the temperature a little bit. Um, I do feel like on the fence on that section it's not that great. It seems like there's just a lot of stringing. This is Overture PLA in bronze and I'm just wondering if maybe the metallic wasn't the best choice. I do like the look of it but I think it needs a little bit more adjustment, maybe the temperature. I wanted to print in a low layer height because I thought it would be a lot more detailed. And it is pretty detailed overall, but I'm almost wondering if a taller layer height might have been a better choice. Maybe not for the bridging. Let me know what you think. And it would be nice if I didn't have to print with a brim, but you know, you can pull that off. 
and it does look like that first layer printed very well on this print. Let me know your thoughts and what you want to see next. Thanks for watching.